Hello everybody and welcome to Factory Town. This is a game that is actually, well as far as I'm aware, it and Factorio are fairly similar in the fact that they're both about building at least a semi-automated factory, but I think this one, as in the name Factory Town, is also about being a um, town builder, colony builder, whatever you'd like to call it. But uh, without further ado, we're gonna hop right into the campaign. So let's begin. Though there is one thing I need to do real quick, so just give me one moment. Oh, jeez. Um, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Guess it just made the game freak out a little bit, but... Anyway, here's our little town. And let's start off by doing this. This tutorial will guide you through the basic parts of the game. Cool. You can move the camera around. Yep, pretty simple stuff. Okay. Open the building menu. B. Select buildings. Select house. And... Left click to place a building. How do you rotate? Um... Eh, whatever. Actually, wait, I do want to know. I don't like how it's B. I may... Re... Uh, map that to something else. What is what is Z? Maybe Z will do it. If not, then we'll worry about it later. But well, that's unfortunate. I don't think it. Uh, I don't think I care. I I don't know how to rotate it. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Actually, I I changed my mind. I want to change it. Okay, fine. Now, the house has increased your population limit. Now you can build more workers to harvest and deliver goods from one building to another. Build menu workers. Wow, you just build workers? Um, place new workers near your town. Okay, there you go. To build and expand your town, you will need to collect lots of resources. First, start by gathering wood. Select a worker with left click, then select a tree to target it, and then select the town center for drop off. It's going to want us to collect four wood. I'm liking this so far, it's, it's, it's pretty simple and just very intuitive. It's nice. Until our entire colony fars, falls apart and everyone starts dying, but... We're just gonna hope that doesn't happen, because that would, that would be a shame. Oh, look at that. Four out of four wood. It does have edge pitting, okay. Open the build menu, select paths, and select footpath. Where's path? There it is. Uh, select for the clicker, draw a pass on worker roots. What does that mean? Worker roots? Um. There you go, I guess. You can pause the game at any time. This will make it easier to build or to select worker units that are moving around. Use the space button to do so. Cool. Coins are necessary to grow and run your town. Earn them by supplying houses with goods. Select a worker. You. Select a worker on... Click that on grain or fruit or vegetables and then drag to a house. Get some... Get some berries. Drop it off there. And you... Get some potatoes and drop it off there. Very good. Very, very good indeed. And there we go. Gather five stone, open the build menu, select buildings, select lumber mill. Um, I don't know where I should place this. Ooh, I'll place it over here. This area looks good. 
And I'm also going to build a path to get over there. A little, little footpath. Very good. No recipe assigned. Select the lumber mill, select the recipe button above, and select the planks recipe. Okay. Now it should be producing planks. Okay, now it wants us to click a worker, click wood, actually wait, no, I should do this closer. No, your potatoes. You, how do I cancel you? No, I, I didn't mean, okay. Are you free from your bond now? I think so. Okay, you chop wood and then, oh, no, 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 pick up. Oh, gosh dang it. You. Oh wait, I can pause. You chop down wood, and then you drop off. There we go. That's that's right. Balanced as all things should be. Okay. Bring the plank from the lumber build to the town center to add it to your inventory. Well, we ha um. You. I need you to cancel your other jobs. Cancel, cancel that. I need you to be a, a, a different thing. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I keep <sighs> making everything harder. Stop, how do I cancel you? How do I... Cancel your primary action? Cancel is, is right click. So it's either cancel or remove is what I'm looking for. Not oh, you. No, I, I didn't mean to do that. Your apples. What was the guy that I was just looking for? You're doing nothing. You... You pick off and... Er, pick up and take there. I'm so bad at navigating this game already. I said it was simple, but I'm, I'm somehow so bad at this. Oh, hey, house reach level two. Cool. You can allocate spare workers to existing buildings. This will make them produce their output faster. You can increase or decrease at any time. Select for any production building, hit the plus worker button on the worker section to add a spare worker to the building. Okay. Plus. There we go. Well, producing specific items will raise your tech level. This will unlock all kinds of new buildings and research. Produce enough planks to unlock the new tech level. When the upgrade is ready, click the upgrade tech upgrade tech level button on the left hand side. Where is that? Research? Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's down here? No. It's the book symbol. Which means it is this screen. So I guess we just have to, to wait until we produce enough planks. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back whenever it's done. Okay. Oh, Jesus. It did it again. We are, as you can see, at 19 out of 20 and 20 out of 20, so very good. Does that mean we unlock everything? Oh, cool. All this new stuff. Markets will sell items automatically, so it wants us to build one of those. Food market. 
I don't have enough for a food market. I don't have any stone. I need to assign somebody to be stone. Are you, you, you can be a stoner. Thank you. Also, you're ready to upgrade. So, there you go. I think it's, it's just done, I guess, which is pretty cool. gonna take like an infinite amount of time to collect that much stone. I need multiple people doing this. What are you doing? Your job is apples, your wheat, your potatoes, your wood, your stone, you're picking up. I'm gonna make you a bit more useful. So. so you chop wood and then you drop off Okay, I can only, apparently only have that much. So fine. Is there anybody else that's like not doing anything? Can I build some more villagers? Or workers, I mean? I can. Very good. Very, very good. Now we have two miners. Not as in young people. As in people that go and collect stone. Using pickaxes. Or other machines slash resource resources. Resources. Go get some of those resources. Wow. That could be better. That could be a lot better. Oh wow, we have enough. I wasn't even paying attention. Lay food marquee. I'm joking, I have no idea. I don't know what French is. I mean, I know what French is, but I don't know any French. Despite the fact that I've taken it for like two and a half years. Delivering an item to a food market will automatically sell it to a connected house. Bring some grain, fruit, or vegetables to the food market. Which means if we go to all these people... You chop there, but then you drop off there. Same thing with you. You chop here, and then you drop off there. And with you. Gather there, and drop off there. So that makes everything less direct, and we earn more money, apparently. Now it wants us to build a general store. Of course, we don't have enough stone, but we almost do. There we go. So we're going to place one of those down. We'll automatically sell houses in the same town. Bring a plank to the general store, so. Now we pick up there and drop off at the general store. That. Very good. The lumber mill can also produce paper. This recipe requires water. You can tell a worker to bring water from a well or place a l new lumber mill next to the water to automatically supply it. Huh. So, should we just build a new one? We have quite a bit of wood, so... We'll just build a new one. I just don't know... How do you rotate things? Let's look at that real quick. Controls. Rotate camera. Oh, no, no, that's rotate camera. What's rotate item? What is rotate item? Hmm. Oh, you can play this with a controller? Hmm. Very interesting. This is all move camera. I'm not looking for move camera. Rotate, please. Aha, uh -huh, it's R and shift R. Which are quite strange, if you ask me, but... Who am I to say anything, I guess? 
So water will automatically be supplied right there. But we need to connect it with a path, so let's do that. Can't afford... <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you say, man. I, quote-unquote, believe you. We'll get there one day. It's only a matter of time. <sighs> Just you. I changed my mind. I want you to, uh... Chop down trees. Just drop them right off. No, no one's allowed to go through the lumber mill. We don't need planks, we just need pure wood. I'm probably really stupid for doing that, but... Oh well. I'm used to it at this point. Any minute now. We'll get there soon. But I'm going to preemptively build a couple more workers. Just place those guys right down there. And you get the same treatment. Chop down a tree and drop off over there. And, oh wait, I can just, there's a shortcut down here. <sighs> so close. Four wood, that's all it takes. There you go, paper. Oh, come on. Perfect. There we go. Now it wants us to build a school. Even though, in my humble opinion, uh, schools are for dummies. Which is true, undeniably. And if you say otherwise, you're wrong. And I hope you know that. But anyway, moving on from that. Before YouTube bans me for encouraging dropping out. That's what, like, technical, tech, technical blade, not technical blade, laser beam did. And he's fine. Nobody ever bothers him about it. Why can't I? I'd be good. Maybe. Probably not. I have no other skills other than doing some epic video gaming. gonna build more people. This seems weird that you can just build people. I just want you to work here. Not enough spare population. Well, gosh dang. Just drop off food at the market. I think I'm going to take this game's advice though, and oh good, I can rotate this. That was really bothering me. I think I'm going to take this game's advice though, and build another house. Actually, could we? Did we have enough to build the school yet? Ah, oh, no, we need planks. This is fine. Good. We are not making any planks, or we? I mean, we are making planks, but it seems as if they're all getting used up or something. Are you... I mean, you have plenty of input. Seems like you're getting good output. Why is our number not going up on planks? Is it just this one lady isn't moving fast enough? Pick up and then drop off there. Is that going to work, or is, do, do, do they need to be routed to the... 
That's why, because those are being routed to the general store, which means they aren't getting received by this building. So they aren't going into our store, they're just getting sold out to the people. Which is why we're quite rich, but very poor on, on planks, unfortunately. And these people... Waiting for space to drop off item. Do they not have any space? Oh, no one's picking up the items that they're making. So pick up, and then... What are, where do I... Where should I take these? Drop off, I guess. Deliver paper, books, and other research materials to school. So whenever we build our school, that's what's going to need the paper. Unfortunately, we're still a little bit away from being able to get a school, so... But our, popula or our happiness, I mean, is really good. Which is... Very, very, very good. And on that note, I think we're going to end off this episode and build a school in the next episode. So, I thank you very, very, very much for watching. And if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Bye.